Elena Kagan has now joined the Supreme Court as the 112th justice, but it'll be quite a while before she is part of an even more exclusive court group. Only a handful of justices have been immortalized with bobbleheads that highlight their personal and judicial lives. The first was then Chief Justice William Rehnquist. His doll is decorated with the gold bands he had on his robes and the blue tie he wore the first day of President Clinton's impeachment trial. We made a thousand of them, sent them to our subscribers, and people just loved it. Retired Justice David Souter's doll has a soundtrack. That's an excerpt from the song Float On uh, by Modest Mouse. Um, and the reason we put that in is because Justice Souter wrote the decision in uh, MGM v. Grokster, which is, was, in fact, this really important case about online music. The gold chains around Souter's neck represent a ruling he wrote in favor of rapper's Two Live Crew. Recently retired Justice John Paul Stevens is wearing his signature bow tie, and he's standing on a video recorder, a reference to the Betamax VHS ruling he wrote. And the bobblehead for Justice Anthony Kennedy, often the court's swing vote, focuses on a key abortion ruling, which is included in Volume 505 of U.S. Reports. The case in which um, Justice Kennedy, along with several other justices, uh, reiterated the, the Supreme Court's support for the Roe decision. There's an attention to detail throughout the collection, on Justice Sandra Day O'Connor's doll, the head of the cow that reflects her growing up on the Lazy Bee Ranch also bobbles, and the cow bears the ranch's brand. Not available in any store, the bobbleheads are a limited edition. One lawyer bought one online for more than $2,000 to round out his collection. There aren't any bobbleheads for most of the current justices, and some have asked, when are you going to do mine? In fact, the Clarence Thomas bobblehead is in the works. As for the court's newest justices, Sotomayor and Kagan, they'll have to wait at least a decade. Gary Bodlander, The Associated Press, at the Supreme Court.